What we're going to learn now in session one is a new chromatic scale. Previously in the beginners course you'll remember we did the chromatic scale where we just did it on the first string, where we did the open string first, then the first fret note, second fret note, third fret note and fourth fret note. That was the ascending and then we descended as well starting from here and going back. It was a nice easy scale to do and the things we were interested in was mainly the left hand technique, making sure we used the tips of the fingers coming around, had a nice gentle curve to all our fingers and that our knuckle here was approximately the same distance away from the neck all the way along there. So we had a very good hand shape. What we're going to do is retain that hand shape, just make the scale a little bit more difficult. So this time it's going to go across two strings. So it starts on the second string with the open string first, then we play the first fret second string note, then the second fret second string note. Then the third fret second string note, and then the fourth fret second string note. Take note that all the fingers are staying down as we go there. So once a finger goes down to fret its note, it stays down until it's been needed to be moved again. So once we've done that, so we're holding the fingers down still, then we're going to start to ascend up on the first string. So what we do is holding the fingers there without moving them, we play the first string open. Then we just move the first finger down only, and then the second finger down, then the third finger down. And then the fourth finger down. So that's the hard part. So you ascend up the second string. That's nice and easy. Then the hard part comes when you have to play the first string open. And then we move the first finger down while keeping the others where they are. And this is where it gets difficult. Then the second finger down while keeping the third and fourth where they are. Then the third finger down. And then the fourth finger down. So that's ascending the scale. So if we, when we descend, descending is nice and simple. We just go back the way we came. And then on the second string, all the fingers go down as one. So we don't just put them down one at a time like this. They all go down as one, and then we descend down the second string as well. So the whole scale is an ascent and a descent. So the points you want to make sure of is that you still retain that nice left hand shape, the thumb is behind the neck, it's not coming over the top like this and you haven't got a, a horrible slant to your fingers like that, you really want to be coming around flat. It takes a little bit of dexterity to get your muscles around so that you can actually curve the hand around like that and it'll be a while before you can do it correctly, but it's well worth the effort to make sure you get it right. So I'll play that for you one more time, Just um, and speed is not the issue here either, you've got to play the scale nice and slow and smooth and fluid is what we want. So let's just play it again. And you're welcome to speed that up as you want, but just make sure it retains its, its fluidity. The important thing to note is you keep the hand shape, you only move the fingers when you need them and do it about 10 times a day and it will really set you up with this hand strength and everything rocking along like we want.